Welcome back gamers to yet another Gamer Juice episode. If you're a PC enthusiast, you know that building a computer can get pricey. Really pricey. As unfortunate as it is, not everybody has a spare cash lying around to build a ridiculously powerful PC. As a matter of fact, I still remember the days when I was running on 2 gigs of RAM and a single core processor. I couldn't even alt tab out of a game without my entire computer crashing. It was ridiculous. That being said, this video goes out to all those PC gamers who have yet to build their ultimate PC. Coming up, 5 of the best FPS games that your toaster can run. And I just want to put this out there, to be safe, please don't try plugging your toaster into a monitor. And before we get into the video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and well that's it, let's get into the video. Number 5, Iron Sight. Playing this game, it feels like you're playing on a budget Call of Duty, but still, it's a fun game. For the game being in an open beta, it's very well made. You have the game modes you can expect from most first person shooters, game modes such as search and destroy, capture the flag, elimination, and more. One of the similarities it shares with Call of Duty is the inclusion of what appears to be perk packages, giving you the ability to spawn in different types of drones. The second similarity that immediately reminded me of Call of Duty was the leveling system. While you do have your basic level system for your character, your weapon unlocks depend on the level of each individual weapon. Not hating or anything, just pointing out some of the similarities that stuck out to me. Definitely a fun game worth checking out whether you're running on a toaster or not. Number 4, Double Action Boogaloo. The name of the game sounds ridiculous, yeah it does. This game is built off of the Half-Life 2 engine, so it may feel a bit nostalgic if you've been in PC gaming for a while. By default, the game is third person, but you can switch it to first person whenever you like. While playing this game did seem to cure my boredom, I couldn't really figure out the objective of the game. Granted, I did pick a random server with players already in, so who knows if there's any other game modes. As far as I can tell, the point of the game is to get as many kills as possible with as much style as possible. You're basically a free runner with guns, which honestly isn't a bad idea had this game been built on a more recent game engine. I know there's Mirror's Edge, but Mirror's Edge isn't exactly multiplayer. Other than accumulating kills with style, I did notice that there were occasional objectives like delivering a briefcase, killing a target, or racing to multiple checkpoints, and whoever gets to every checkpoint without dying wins a race. Number 3, Dirty Bomb an extremely fast-paced first-person shooter with plenty of people to play against online. In other words, the community is far from dead. From all of the other games on the list, this may be the game I had the most fun in. The game features a couple of different game modes to choose from, and while in-game, you're able to choose the character you want to play as and switch it up as you like after each death. Though, starting out, it does seem like there's only three characters to choose from. Each character has their own weapons and gadgets. Loads of fun, and without hesitation, I would recommend this game to anyone looking to jump onto a free PC game. Number 2, Black Squad. A fun first person shooter for quick matches, though I will say that the moving mechanics in this game feel really slow, and the only way to run is by pulling out your knife, but even then the running still feels very slow. However, I will say that the graphics in this game are great, much better than you can expect from a free game. And even though the moving mechanics don't feel great, the shooting mechanics do. In a lot of games out there, you have a wide selection of weapons to choose from. But the higher recoil and spread makes a lot of those weapons unusable. In Black Squad, it seems to me as though they hit that recoil sweet spot. I'll be honest though, spread seems pretty much non-existent in this game. Number 1, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This game is a classic, and if you haven't heard of CSGO before, Odds are you've been living under a rock. The reason I say that is because to this day, CSGO is a massively popular game due to the game being one of the main games when it comes to esports, not to mention the rare items you can find that can be worth hundreds of dollars. The game features a few different game modes to play from, and this should go without saying. Getting into a match should not be an issue with this community being one of the most active gaming communities out there. Alright gamers, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you have any recommendations, we'll be more than happy to take them. Go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And we'll see you on the next video. Until then, enjoy some more of the gameplay.